Hey, welcome back guys. This is Eben and Flowing here. So we are on part 3 of our videos on how to set up an old office PC for, for home use. So for this PC, it looks like the IT team already did a pretty good job of wiping off all wiping off all the data that was previously on here but unfortunately the users are still here so i'm not able to log in and you know use a pc or create a new user or anything like that so in that case what you have to do is you have to basically uh, reset the pc so you can reset you so you don't need a password to reset the pc in order to reset the pc all you have to do is hold on to shift and then go to power in the corner and while you're holding on to shift go ahead and hit the restart button all right let me see oops all right. shift and restart Gotta give it a second. All right, there we go. Perfect. So from here, you want to choose the troubleshoot option. And yep, reset this PC. Remove everything. If you try to do keep my files, if the Windows is up to date, it should have the option. I mean, it will ask you to, I mean, it's going to say that you're going to need an admin password to do that. So, so that's good on Windows because previously they did not have this protection and it was pretty easily to, easy to bypass this. But in this case, let's just do remove everything. Give it a second. Okay, there we go. And it's going to ask us another prompt saying, do you want to completely wipe the PC to recycle it? Or are we going to continue to use it? A second yep right here so if you choose the second option fully clean this drive that will take a really long time and uh, for me personally so uh, for my opinion you don't really need to do that if the uh, previous IT team already removed everything instead all you have to do is just remove my files and uh, I will keep using this PC and once you do that all the current users will be gone and it'll be like you're using a pc for the first time it's going to ask you to create an account etc go ahead and hit reset and this takes a minute but again it's much faster than do, doing doing the second option but i'm going to post this video and i will come back to it once it's done Okay, so we reset the PC, but unfortunately, yeah, I'm encountered this glitch. 
So sometimes this happens, sometimes it doesn't. Like even if I just do, you know, complete um, reset and choose a second option to recycle the PC, or if I choose a first one, sometimes unfortunately this glitch happens where there is other user, but in reality there is no user. There's no user or password, so there's no way to actually get in. And uh, I tried using the CMD to see if there's a way around it, but even with that, unfortunately there is not a way because if you're trying to go to CMD, it's going to say you need admin permission. But if I don't need to try to do that, it says the admin doesn't exist, contact your IT guy. So basically it's a glitch. So again, to, unfortunately to get out, get out of this glitch, Usually, if you if I do the same reset option, it should, and the next time through, it should fix this issue. So, oops. and same same thing. Hold on to shift, restart. At least this time through, the wiping should be a little bit faster. From here, you just go into troubleshoot. Is it this PC? If you guys know of a better way to get out of this, please let me know. And let me know in the chat. But so far, unfortunately, this seems to be the only way I can figure it out. So again, I'm going to the, literally the same process again. I'm resetting this PC. I'm going to choose the same option. So I'm going to choose the first option. It's so the second option for recycling. I'm going to use the first option, which says something like, hey, I'm going to keep using this PC, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully this time around, it sh we should have some good news. And again, it's still going to take some time, but it should be considerably faster than the first time around. Or maybe not. These hard drives are kind of old, so you can never tell. If you guys want to upgrade your this PC to actually, you know, make it seem like something brand new, I would highly recommend putting SSD in there. So SSDs are depending on how much you're so if you want to get like a 500 GB SSD right now is a 500 GB hard drive in here so the thing is like 500 GB SSD will cost you around like I want to say 50 bucks more or less and trust me when you put SSD in there it's like kind of night and day I used to have a PC that like an older PC that used to take like minutes, like five minutes to turn boot up, put an SSD in there, boom, it's all ready to go in like like 15 seconds. And it's not even an expensive SSD either, it's just like a budget SSD. I For these old PCs, you gotta make sure you get a SATA SSD, not one of those M.2s because a, these older PCs are not gonna have M.2 slot. So you're just gonna make sure you buy a SATA SSDs. And again, this is gonna be the same for pretty much any device. You'll just be a laptop, uh, old PC, etc. An SSD will definitely make it like a, a bunch of times faster. It's like night and day. Once you go to, once you're used to SSDs, it's kind of hard to go back. But anyways, hopefully this will be fixed. It's kind of late at night, so I'm just going to turn this off and come back to do this tomorrow and see where we are at. Peace. All right, I'm back. So yeah, it looks like this time. The reset went through successfully, and this is how it should look. So it's basically like 
how it should be when you're setting up Windows or a new PC for the first time. Yep, going to your language, keyboard layout, skip. No internet, skip for now. Okay, just an agreement. Can name is Hello World again. Okay. You could put a password, or if you don't, you can just, just leave it blank and press enter. Nope, I do not want Cortana. Hold that off. Some for location, except. And that part is just completely personal preference. But basically now, all all that is left is it's gonna go through this this small part, and then it should go right onto Windows. Yeah, after that it's gonna be it's like basically the same thing as the last few minutes of of my last video. Basically, I would recommend you to stop any any of the software that's running on startup other than the, the windows defender of course but other than that yeah you're good to go your pc is just like it's brand new all right so i'm just going to pause for a quick sec for a second when it's ready i will come back And here we go, Windows 10 is installed and ready to go. Again, the only thing I would do is I would go to turn up turn on taskbar, so with this uh, control shift escape, I meant to say task manage, not taskbar. And okay, let's bring a little up more details. And let's see, startup. Yeah, in this case, we got a couple of the stuff. We got a uh, AMD, so this has a graphics card on it. So it's going to that's the graphics cards program. Again, up to you guys. Um, you might want, I don't know, I think you might want to turn that on, but it's a uh, so the graphics card driver will be up to date and stuff, but eh, for now I'm just going to turn that off. I might turn it back in the future, depending on how it, how it will react, but yeah, that's it. Also, I have one more thing. I'll go to view, sorry, not view, options. Go to options and just tick always on top. The only reason I would do that is because because you know you're going to use the task manager to close some programs that is not responding and sometimes when you try to do that what happens is the task manager goes to the back and the program that's stuck is st will stay in the front and that will get in your way so if you just click if you just do options always on top it will make sure task manager always on top so you can you can make sure to end the processes properly and that's it. Peace.